Hey guys, welcome to a new reading vlog. This week I'm going to be reading Disney books that are not part of the Disney Twisted Tale or Villains series. So I want to read more books that are not Twisted Tale or Villains. So I want to read more Disney books so that I can recommend more to you guys and I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to read some of the books that are on my shelf that I haven't really gotten around to yet. I already did a part one to this video so if you want to check that out I'll link it down below. But basically the goal is just to read as many Disney books as possible within the frame of eight weeks. To kick things off I am going to be reading Part of Your Nightmare by Vera Strange. This is book one in the Disney Chill series. It's middle grade. I think it's supposed to be kind of spooky. I mean with the name of the series I would expect it to be kind of spooky. I was initially hoping to read it in October but I didn't get around to it and so I think early November is still appropriate like spooky time and so we're gonna give this one a try. I think each book focuses on a different villain. It's legit all that I know about the series. I have no idea what the plot of this is. I just know that this one follows Ursula as the title and cover would suggest. I'm also dressed up for the occasion even though I'm hoping today will be a very productive day so I will be needing an audiobook and I thought I would pick up Frozen 2 Dangerous Secrets by Mary Mancusi. This was actually recommended by one of you guys but I found out that the audiobook was narrated by Evan Rachel Wood and Alfred Molina who are the voices of Iduna and Agnar in Frozen and since the book is following Iduna and Agnar I thought this was just fitting. I am very excited to give this one a try especially with the audiobook being being narrated by the actors. I think it's gonna be very cool. I guess pun intended. I don't know. <laughs> now I am going to get started with my day, grab some breakfast, read my books, and also maybe listen to my audiobook when I cannot be physically reading. All right, time for a reading update. So I finished reading A Part of Your Nightmare by Vera Strange and uh, <laughs> I don't really have anything nice to say about it. I think it's gonna be getting a one out of five stars for me. I didn't like anything about this book. I didn't like the premise. I didn't like the characters. I didn't like the story, like the plot. I didn't like the world building. Like there was nothing really that I liked about it. I, I'm trying to be like nice, but there's nothing that I can say that would redeem this book in my eyes. Like I, I just really did not like this. The only reason I finished it is because I was reading it for you guys because otherwise I would have DNF'd it. It makes me really sad because I wanted to like this. I think it had potential but it, it just really didn't live up to any expectations that I could have had for this book and it makes me sad. I don't like hating a book. It did not hate this. I just really did not care for it and usually I would maybe have given this maybe a two out of five stars because I didn't really care for it but I didn't hate this with a passion. At first I thought it might have been because I am older. <laughs> I'm not the intended audience for this but I've read some really incredible middle grades and so there's no reason for this book to be this badly written to be honest and yeah I just didn't like it at all so I will not be continuing the series. I'm giving this maybe a 1.5 out of 5 stars. Don't want to talk about this anymore and just makes me sad but 
it's not a book that I would recommend and it's not a book that I will keep and I will not be continuing the series unless you guys tell me that it gets better but from what I've read I do not want to read any more from Rare or Strange so fortunately this is a bust. I'm hoping though that my next read is going to be something that I end up liking and that is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. So this is a dark romance. It's a Peter Pan retelling. Basically the concept of the series is that it's called the Never After series and it gives villains their happy endings which I think it's kind of funny because I just watched season four of Once Upon a Time like I continued my rewatch of it and that's the whole premise of the season so I think it's interesting that I'm picking this up but it is kind of a mafia dark romance and it follows our main character Hook and I'm assuming the love interest is going to be Wendy but I guess we'll have to read more to see but I am excited. I've heard incredible things from a lot of romance booktubers that I follow so it's one that I am super excited to give a try. I also wanted to give you guys an update on Frozen 2 Dangerous Secrets. Now that's a book that I have a feeling could be a five stars. I am loving the audiobook. I've only read like the first two chapters plus a prologue so not that long but I'm already so impressed with the production. Like the audiobook narration is really incredible. I'm not surprised because we're we have voice actors but I cannot wait to continue reading this. It was so good from what I've read. I have a feeling it's a book that I really am going to enjoy. I'm loving the writing style. It's everything that I could have wanted out of this. In other news I wanted to share with you guys my indigo cart because they are currently running a pretty big sale. It's 25% off for Plum Plus members and so that means that I get 25% off my entire order which I think is pretty cool and I thought I would use this opportunity to get a couple of books from my TBR and so I kind of wanted to share that with you guys because a lot of these are actually Disney books so I thought that might be interesting. So we have this Nutcracker mug really something that I guess you guys would be interested in unless maybe you are. I'll show you guys when I get it. But let's talk about the books because I think that's the most interesting part. The first one being Bravely by Maggie Steve Father. So this is a brave retelling. I've never heard of a brave retelling so this is one story that I'm really excited to get my hands on. Also I love Maggie Steve Father writing. I loved the Raven Cycle so I have not read anything else from her but I think this is one that I could really enjoy. Next we have City of Villains by Estelle Lohr. So this is kind of pitched as a Gotham city but with Disney villains instead and that sounds right up my alley so this is one that I've been wanting to check out. Then we have Rebel Rose by Emma Theriot. This is book one in the Queen's Council series and it's a series of Disney retellings. I know it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I know it follows Belle and I think she's kind of like the queen and like this is her council. I think this is like the setup for the rest of the series but I know nothing about the plot of this so this is one that I am quite curious to check out. Then we have A Court of Silver Flames. I won't bore you with this but basically I want to re read the Aquatar series so that I can finally get to A Court of Silver Flames. I was thinking of doing a video about it. Let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. A Court of Thorns and Roses is actually a Beauty and the Beast retelling by the way so if you haven't read it this could be something to add to your list but yeah I, I've heard a lot of praise for A Court of Silver Flames or people hate it like it's a make it or break it type of deal so I'm curious and it's usually quite expensive like $38 for a freaking hardback like yeah so 25% off is actually a little bit more reasonable and the final book on my list is Prince of Song and Sea by Lindsay Miller. This is one that I've heard of quite recently and it really caught my attention. Basically it's the first book in a new Disney series that will be following the princes. So instead of being like a princess retelling it's gonna be told from the perspective of the prince and this one is well as you can tell by the cover a little mermaid retelling so I am quite curious to check that one out. So here is my little order and I, I wanted to add a lot more things but I wanted to be reasonable as well and I feel like those are all things that I would be very interested in and I think you guys might also want to check them out so I might make a vlog out of them. We'll see. Maybe I'll be able to incorporate them in this vlog if I get them in time. <laughs> I guess we'll see. But yeah let me know if you've read any of these. Now I think I'm just gonna proceed to check out.
So time for a reading update. Today is Wednesday. It's actually my birthday. I don't really have anything special planned for today. My birthday celebration will be happening mostly during the weekend. I am off on Friday. I don't have work. So I have some plans then and then I am also going to be celebrating with my family probably on Saturday or Sunday evening. But I did want to give you guys a reading update as I've said before because I have made quite a bit of progress with some of the books that I'm currently reading. So number one being Frozen 2 Dangerous Secrets. I am loving this book. I have a feeling it could end up being a 5 out of 5 stars. I just am loving the experience of listening to this audiobook. It is so good. I love the writing. It feels like it is on par with the movie. Like to be honest, I feel like this would translate so well into a movie. I just really like the way that the story is told and like the characters and the audiobook production is just chef's guess. So yeah, overall a really solid recommendation for people who love Frozen. So far I am really satisfied with this book. I am not the biggest Frozen fan, but this book just makes me love the world building of that movie a lot more. So I am enjoying that. I am also reading Hooked by Emily McIntyre. So I'm about halfway through, a little bit under that, and I was enjoying it at first. I was really liking the world building. I'm not the biggest fan of like dark romances to begin with. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I am much more of a rom-com reader when it comes to romances and so this is not the type of book that I would have picked on my own but I had heard really amazing things about it so I thought I would give it a try and so far I do like the writing of it however I'll be honest I feel like I really enjoyed the beginning before like Hook and Wendy started interacting but now that the spice has happened I guess I am feeling myself a little bit less into it like a little bit less invested in their relationship or just in this book in general i do really like the allusion to peter pan though like it's amazing the work that this author has done in terms of like the world building and making it make sense with the peter pan story i just really love the little nudges for example the main character james who is also known as hook his last name is barry and it's like the last name of the author of peter pan whose name is jm barry so i just think it's like very interesting how the author has been able to integrate the story of peter pan and like make it make sense with this story without it feeling too obvious so overall i i am liking like the retelling part of things I I just am not that invested in the romance which is a little odd considering that I picked this up for the romance but who knows maybe it'll pick up in the second half and I'll enjoy it more but like so far I would say it's a solid read it's just not exactly what I wanted and I was expecting to like the spicy scenes a little bit more than I have been so far but it is only just the beginning so things could change. Hi so it's been a couple of days since my last update but I do have a reading update for you guys I'll try to make it quick because I am feeling a little sick let me just put this down because it is warm and I feel like I might burn myself if I don't put it down. But I have finished reading Hooked by Emily McIntyre. And for me, this is a solid 3 out of 5 stars. I liked the retelling part of things. I really enjoyed the plot more than I did the romance. For me, it was the weakest aspect of the book. It's not that I didn't like the romance. I just didn't really find myself rooting for the characters. I didn't really like Hook. Wasn't the biggest fan of Wendy. And overall, like, I, I really enjoyed the plot of the book. I think that part was really well done. It has a lot of graphic depiction of violence, though. So, like, if that's something that is triggering to you, please look up the trigger warnings for this book because there are so many. But it is one that I would recommend. I think I am curious enough to continue reading the series. The next one is a retelling of The Lion King, but with humans. So it's called Scarred, and it is a dark royal romance. So that's something that I'm intrigued by. But yeah, I did like this. I think it's a solid read. It just didn't really blow my mind in terms of the romance. I had more expectations for it, given all of the amazing reviews that I've heard about this one. So I, I do feel like it let me down a little bit, but I did enjoy it nonetheless. Also, I received part of my order that I placed at the beginning of the week. So I did want to show you guys the book that I have. The first one being Prince of Song and Sea. Look at this gorgeous cover. I am obsessed. It is absolutely stunning. I am so excited to read this. And then we have Bravely by Maggie Seafather, which is also stunning. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Let me know if you have any other recommendations for Dizzy books that aren't the Twisted Tales or the Villain series. And I guess that's it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!